तो वंस अगेन आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू ऑटो कैड टूटोरियल्स बाय एम सी जी कैड वर्कस सो आई वंस अगेन इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ माई नेम इज विराज एंड आई एम हेयर टू टीच यू ऑल ऑटो कैड टूटोरियल्स एम सी जी कैड वर्कस दिस वीडियो will be in english and as well as hindi uh, english mein aise bolne ki koshish karunga jo ab sabko samajh aa jaye and kisi ko bhi koi dikkat na ho and as well as uh, the english guys will also understand this so today uh, we are going to elaborate on uh, what is the starting point of the autocad how to start autocad how to make basic drawings in autocad how to make lines it is something and all the basic things that need to be started jinse aap log seekh sakte hain ki autocad mein kaise cheezein start hoti hain ek ek panel karke hum sabhi panels ko cover karenge usse pehle jab tak autocad ka software jo hai wo start hota hai usse pehle hum pichli cheezein jo hai wo recall kar lete hain Uh, in the previous video uh, we have learned about how to install autocad for free on your computer how to start autocad what are the license requirements and everything else we have discussed humne pichle bare mein ye sab cheezein jo hai wo discuss kari thi ki autocad kaise start karte hain kya hota hai kya nahi hota and all that in the last video i have told you all about the three uh, things that open when you start the autocad uh first get started where we draw things recent documents and the notification panel so now we are going to start the drawing you have to just click on start drawing and there is a workspace being open like this now uh जस्ट स्टार्टिंग फ्राम द बेसिंग थिंग बिल्कुल बेसिक थिंग से के साथ स्टार्ट करते हैं आपको क्या करना है यू हैव टू जस्ट राइट क्लिक एंड देर विल सम ऑप्शन अब ये जो ऑप्शन होते हैं ये जो ये डायलॉग बॉक्स ओपन हुआ है ये ऑप्शन होते हैं आपके डिस्प्ले के आपके बेसिक चीज़ों के जो कि आपको सेट कर सकते हैं हम अपने हिसाब से इस सॉफ्टवेयर को अपने हिसाब से पर्सनलाइज करने के लिए बाय डिफ़ॉल्ट तो चीज़ें सेट ही हैं इसमें बाय डिफ़ॉल्ट द थिंग्स आर सेटेड अप इन दिस सॉफ्टवेयर बट व्हाट यू वांट व्हाट द थीम यू वांट व्हाट द थिंग्स यू वांट व्हाट इज़ द क्रॉस हेयर साइज यू वॉन्ट वट इज़ द पिक बॉक्स साइज यू वॉन्ट सो दैट्स ऑल इज डिटमाइंड इन दिस सो आई विल डू सम टू टू थ्री थिंग्स firstly change the crosshair size it should be big so that uh, easy selections would be made i will just make it uh, 15 you can set it with this scroll bar or by just typing this uh, and i just go to apply after applying i just go there is nothing in open and save it is just the drawing name ab kuch bhi choose kar sakte hain isme se बिकॉज ये ऑटो कैट तो मैंने यही चूज करा है ऑटो कैट टू थाउजेंड एटीन टोइंग देन देर इज नथिंग इन दिस देन देर इज प्लॉट एंड पब्लिश दैट्स द आउटपुट डिवाइस यू वॉन्ट प्रिंट टू पी डी एफ एक्सेट्रा 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 जस्ट स्केप दे आर ऑल द अदर थिंग्स आप कहाँ स्टोर करना चाहते हो आप कहाँ पब्लिश करना चाहते हो एंड ऑल द अदर थिंग्स then there is system isme bhi aapko kuch nahi karna you have to do nothing in this display touch mode ribbon panel uh, with this the ribbon panel would be like cannot be separated from this to this so we don't display uh, we we want to display the touch mode ribbon panel then there is user preferences uh, you can uh, user preferences means the Uh, default units in the units that is settled to millimeters we will talk about the units later in this video and other things like keyboard entry and etc things uh, then there is drafting auto snap marker size uh, the snap marker size just keep it medium aperture size just keep it medium 
I have to do this 3D modeling we will talk it about later selection just keep it simple just keep it simple grip colors I here choose from the green then hover grip color red selected grip color uh, can grip contour color can okay grip color contour color I have to change I change it to yellow okay so this you can change it or just keep it that blue red and everything else uh, uh, selection effect color by default this is this and then there is profile you have to do nothing so you have to click on apply and okay now your size is uh, now your selection size is bigger and other things are bigger now just uh, moving on to the next thing uh, the basic thing you get here jo aapko basic cheez aapko jo hai wo milti hai autocad ke andar by uh, default uh, so this is the basic things you get in autocad jab aapko uh, basic milta hai to aise grids wagaira jo hain wo aapko uh, uh, milenge theek uh, hai aur uh, iske baad uh, what you have to do next is to set the limits now uh, i will show you something uh, just moving on to the photos there is photos uh, so i will open something uh, from this we can open <coughs> is documents then mm, uh, zoom in 1.pk uh, no in this there is nothing download uh, one step closer to one thing nine setting command pick this file okay so here uh, we are opening a thing uh, so here is a basic house that would be created by us in this video and i will tell you how to create this so this i will pan it by the way this is the pan sign uh, how to pan uh, just click on your uh, rubber ball in the mouse or the wheel uh, just click on it and just move the mouse without you see and you can zoom in or zoom out okay and by clicking on it you will just pan the screen okay just here and i want this and this so it is created by using the lines completely uh, there are straight lines they are inclined lines so we will talk it about it wholly in this video firstly we need to set about the limits now what is limits limits are the extreme uh, dimensions till which an object is drawn as we all know uh, that the drawing area in autocad is dimensionless it is till infinity so we need to set up uh, limits for that so that we can pull out a drawing in that area and when we need a copy of it when we need to save it uh, we actually have a object on that so what we do uh, we will just see the total length that is 1200 and the total height that is 300 plus uh, I think uh, just we have to get uh, 400 more so moving on to the drawing one that is our basic things now I am writing limits how to set limits you can just type L as jamming mode is on I will just switch off it because it is not helpful till now in the command box I will type uh, just one second I can switch it off just one thing dynamic mode is on and this 
we will set up limits so first is limits you have to tell l i m i for limits just click on it now it will say specify lower left corner so you have to specify lower left corner as there is no negative value it is uh, split into four whole zones uh, that is the x y i will just tell you about the ucs first now what is ucs uh, ucs is defined as the user coordinate system it is the axis this is the y axis let me just make it more clear for you uh, this is the x axis and this is the y axis and there is also a third axis called the z axis which we don't need in 2d modulation so this is the y axis and this is uh, this is the x axis and this is the y axis so whole area is divided into four corners first second third fourth uh, here positive 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 negative uh, negative positive negative negative so these are the things positive positive negative positive positive negative and negative negative so these are the things so uh, we we know that there is no negative value in this whole area so we will just set up uh, the limits as uh, limits we'll just type limits i will set 0 comma 0 for the uh, x value you have to type uh, the x and then you have to press the comma so that it can take value and then uh, enter and the upper right corner as we need 12 we need x as 1200 and for y we get it 400 so enter now there is no change to make a change you have to get zoom for zoom have to type z zoom will regenerate model i select zoom and then there is all you have to click on all and this is your area that is the zoom all command okay so now we will draw the house but firstly what are its units its units are in centimeter so we have by default we know it is set up in which one millimeter so we have to just make its units in centimeters so units we get the units and from this we will just set up it to uh, centimeters and till uh, we need to three places okay so here is the units we will just give the commands in centimeter so now firstly I will just draw a line straight of uh, total 1200 centimeter so I will just click on the line command now it will it will tell you about the specify first one now i will specify the first one as 0 comma 0 that is exactly from the ucs and then i will own the ortho mode because if i do not own the ortho mode it will just move anywhere we need straight lines at 180 so by using the ortho i also we have on the ortho and i will also have the dynamic input uh, so now you can see by on, uh, by keeping on the ortho mode this line is all, only moving in 90 degree and 180 degree so i will just say 1200 enter so here is your line as we have kept the screen full for this house so there is a line of total 1200 now uh, by entering we just escape we just cancel the command now we will move back to 1200 and then there is a horizontal line at 350 now i will tell you about the o snap what is o snap okay so in the o snap we have to own it from the o snap mode so you have to just take uh, ortho mode polar tracking and object snap tracking so by object snap tracking uh, you just click on or the snap tracking settings and you will just on the we need uh, perpendicular and other things so you can uh, select all or clear all and open the one uh, which you want here okay and this is the snap and grid uh, you can change the grid size polar tracking 3d object snap dynamic input quick properties and etc 
okay we will just find the mark here just i just span a bit okay so from this so i have to create a line at 350 from this okay so i will just type 350 enter now this is the line from where i have to do the 350 now we have to move 300 upwards upwards then i have to come back to it now how i will draw i will just make and a green line with appear me with the point and after this i will just click and here we have get it the first thing now escape enter for repeating the command i will go from here and by taking this i go from here i just went here escape enter i just want to get this point and our this rectangle is drawn that is 300 1200 and 350 now we have to do this 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 but before i will draw this 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 and then we will talk about the various methods of adding a uh, line so go on to the line this 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 now firstly i will make this 60 it is the 60 uh, from escape escape uh, this one more thing i have to know 125 210 100 210 so firstly it is 125 from this point so i will make a line and like that i have done just type 125 and it will automatically show the position where you have to go then we have to go 210 210 upwards then we have to move sideways 100 and then i will type close sorry 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 this is this is the point okay so we have created this now the windows that are 125 away from this and 150 150 so how will we create just enter for the line from this line and from this they are 125 away from this point 100 125 away 125 125 150 150 150 okay so uh, what you have to do just from this point that is 350 you have to add 125 that is the 475 and uh, we take this as 20 as no dimension is there for this so we take it as one this this there so we take it as uh, 20 uh, 150 this is this is total 300 so 150 150 will be left 150 is half as uh, 75 so we will create this 75 um, this 125 and escape from this point um, this point till 125 escape and from this point 75 escape so from this we have to go 150 enter from this we have to go 150 enter from this we have to go 150 enter and from this we have to go 150 one enter so this is the we have drawn a window now what we can do we can trim this 
just move on to trim we will talk about trim later just a right click and just have to fence this so I will create a fence line for this uh, edge edge is what we have to do we just escape we have to just select this and this so this is uh, the one thing now we want it to copy there so select object to copy I will just select select the object to copy enter specify base point so we have specified a base point and from here we need 125 sorry escape so this is our working now control plus it that is the back now we have to move here we need 125 from this so uh, what would do this 125 150 350 125 and 150 so I will just take uh, the help of uh, the 125 tool and this we will denote the height from this uh, we will uh, just shape it line I have to just I have to match this point here and from this point uh, this point I have to go 125 enter then above 150 enter then here 150 enter then here 150 enter and then i have to just close it and like the other thing we'll just erase this so we have our base ready the walls ready and the windows as well now we'll talk about the three methods of creating line um, the three methods of creating line are the absolute coordinate method polar method and relative coordinate method in the absolute coordinate method the one thing which we are doing we are giving the absolute coordinates hum bilkul absolute coordinates de rahe hain hum hum autocad ko exactly bata rahe hain ki we want this length we want this length and we want this length so that is the absolute coordinate method it is the simplest method but it is sometimes time consuming iske baad aata hai we have the relative coordinate method in the relative coordinate method what we do we just uh, type uh, at the rate uh, previous we can just type previous and from previous you can give your length so the autocad remembers the last one given to it so in the relative coordinate method will give the relative distance and in the polar coordinate method you have to give two things that is the angle as well as the line uh, the polar coordinate method we will study here in implementing this lines uh, the relative coordinate method we will study here and um, yeah, the absolute coordinate method we are studying already so now uh, we can go on lines now I will give um, first point uh, from the last one so just I have to create something first I just go something from the 60 enter okay now I will just on uh, just of the ortho mode, ortho mode so that we can move in angles uh, uh, we know that there is angles in this uh, that is the 45 degree 32.34 and 45 degree this line is uh, 32.34 and the angle between them is uh, 45 degree so and I will create lines uh, this I will give the previous 
previous enter escape I will just for the line I will give add the rate add add the rate 332.4 lesser than 45 so for lesser than is this sign for the angle and this is the length so now think what happens that is the point where we are so this line is 332.4 and making 45 degree angle so this is the example of the polar coordinate method now for the line we will enter one against enter and from the previous point it just showed us so escape line uh, we will select this point now this will get 332.4 lesser than 45 so you have to just enter oh it it is uh, made uh, <laughs> it is made more As escape control plus z this is line In this point uh, like uh, the counting is uh, from the 45 so 45 uh, now we have to get on this point it is 332.4 enter okay now we have to just get this this and this would be created now uh, one more thing that i want to tell you is about the erase thing uh, like we have mistaken this now what we have to do we have to just erase it and by clicking on erase we can just erase it and this we can just erase it so erase is that thing uh, the remaining drawing would be completed by your site as we have talked all about the this method so now uh, i will just select all all the stuff delete So that is clear. now there are two methods there is one blue window second green window blue window green window so if you move the mouse in the right direction it will give you a blue window and if you move the mouse in left direction it will give you a green window so but are this these windows are for selection you can give your selections uh, by using any of these windows but its proper method would be shown uh, later in more videos uh, this comes in the selection panel so we will talk about it later now moving on to the second things that is the polyline now what is the polyline polyline is the combination of many lines like we have we have to draw anything uh, this is the combination of basically the line and the arc uh, we draw this and then i want to draw this and then i want to draw this but now i want to draw arc so i will just right click go on to a arc give uh, now i will give a center so this center and this is the arc and now i again want to go on line so i will go on uh, line i have just give a line and this now what is the difference between a line and a polyline i will draw a line also like this 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 okay so first difference is you will say that we cannot draw the arc okay this is the difference now i will just give you an example I will select this all now this is selected as a whole object now I will select this what is the difference you are seeing 
वेन आई हैव ड्रॉन अ पोली लाइन जब मैंने पोली लाइन को ड्रॉ किया तो ये पूरा ऑब्जेक्ट जो है वो सिलेक्ट हो गया बट जब मैंने लाइन को सेलेक्ट किया तो ये एक एक हिस्सों में हो रही है नाओ अब इसका फ़र्क क्या है विल जस्ट स्केप एवरी थिंग आई हैव सेलेक्टेड दिस एंड आई हैव सेलेक्टेड दिस आई विल क्लिक ऑन इरेज वट हैपन पोली लाइन एक पूरे ऑब्जेक्ट की तरह काम किया और लाइन कुछ पार्ट्स में जितना हमने ड्रॉ किया Yes, we will. So this is the main difference between polyline. If you want the polyline to act as a line, you will just have to select this. Then there is a command called explode. Now, uh, from where you can uh, choose this command, you can choose this command from the modify panel. So this is the explode command icon. Just click on. explode and now you can see these are all similar these are acting as a line completely this is now not a single object anymore this is acting like a polyline completely just escape and if you want the polyline to again Uh, act as a polyline then there is a command called the join command join command now select source object or multiple object to be joined and uh, we have select all the objects and enter now what will happen it's like this this is again acting as a whole polyline so uh, now you know the method to revert we will just select all of it uh, delete delete okay so this is the polyline now uh, in which ways you can uh, draw the polyline polyline can be drawn in exactly the same way like line is drawn in ortho mode you can on the ortho mode for the polyline so that it can move here for the arc you can give this will close itself so it, uh, this is the uh, whole polyline uh, that how you can draw a polyline moving on to the second uh, this is the circle you can draw the circle in uh, six ways First is center radius, then there is center diameter, then there is the two point, three point, tan, tan radius, and tan. So, uh, firstly, we will draw the simplest form of the circle. That is the center radius. You can also access the circle command by typing the C I R. You will get the circle inbox like this. Um, command box circle. So uh, this is the circle. Okay. So just clicking on to this. So clicking on to this command. Now it is the specify center point for circle or 3p, 10p, etc. Now I will just want to uh, draw the circle. So I will just specify the center point here. Then this is asking me for the radius. I just give the radius as uh, 50. Uh, 50 is the radius, and this is the circle drawn by center radius method. Now, what is the circle by center diameter method? You have to just specify the point, and then it will ask you for the diameter. So, I will just 50 the diameter, and the circle is small from this because 50 is its uh, radius, so it is it has a diameter of 100. Uh, this has a diameter of 50 only. Moving on to the second, that is the two point. Now, I just draw a line. one line escape enter second line okay so now i have to draw a circle between these two i will just give one point second point so it is a circle between these two points move on to the third this is the three point i will do three lines one two one two and 3 okay so now i have to draw a circle between three points 1 2 3 okay 
so these are, is the settled is passing from the these three points now what is the tan 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 radius so i will just draw two lines uh, this of the orthomod this line this line okay now i have to open the tan tan radius i will just skip tan tan and i specify the radius as 20 and so this is the circle it is tangent to this and this line and there is a circle so that is the tan tan radius and then tan 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 uh, we will just give one line escape uh, enter enter second line and there is a third line oh okay, now i have to give tan 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 and there is a circle that is tangent to these three lines tan tan and tan so this whole concept is about the circle various methods to draw circle okay now there is a question can a circle be tangent to three parallel lines i hope you will answer so let's see i will on the ortho mode I draw the line now I use offset command we will know about it uh, lately I just give uh, offset of 10 and uh, like the offset object so select once again enter enter the offset object and so select okay so these are the three lines we have to draw the circle now will try tan 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 tell me it will be drawn one two three circle does not exist so there is not a circle that can be drawn uh, in three parallel lines as tan 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 so this is the whole method of drawing the circle now i will just uh, zoom out all this escape zoom out all this all this we select this by a green window and we will delete moving on to the next part <laughs> that is the arc now there are more than 10 type of arc which include three point arc start center and start center angle start center length start and angle start and direction start and radius center start and center start angle center start length and the cont use so the most common use is three point start center and uh, start and angle and center start end so firstly we will talk about this uh, start center end this will give three points we have to give three points i will just give one point this uh, ortho mode of two points three points so this is the three point arc selective on this these have actually it have four point that is the center point but it is made up of three points start point midpoint end point now the next type of arc start center and start point now center point and end point so but this this is made up of start center and now start center angle uh, so start se center angle uh, we will just start this this center angle we give off 45 enter so this is the arc start center angle now start center length start center length i will give of 330 enter so this is the start center length then uh, start uh, end angle so start end angle now we will give 120 enter so this is the start end angle now start and direction start and 
the action here or you can give it out there this don't need anything i will just this okay now there is start and radius uh, i will just give start and radius as 450 enter so this is the arc now center start and just give the center start end so we have completed a whole cycle from this this is uh, uh, different and this is different okay this is different and this is different now move on to the next we'll do it start cent center start angle center start and angle so where it is it is here okay now center start line center start uh, length okay so this is the length and the last one it is the continue so you can just continue from the last point from this to anywhere like this so this is the whole concept of arc uh, how to create arc you can create arc by inputting various methods um, of the arc and this is the arc and arc can also be connected by using uh, the three coordinate methods like i said you in the lines method that you can create lines uh, like that polar absolute and relative uh, so you can create the arcs and other things by also by using uh, these methods now the next is the polygon command what is the polygon command uh, we can there is rectangle and polygon firstly we will talk about rectangle uh, now uh, in the if you have to create a rectangle by lines you need four lines but in the rectangle we just need x y coordinates of the top left corner and the of the top right corner and the bottom left corner or you can create it like this this i will give the start point something like this then i just give x as 500 and this as 100 and see the rectangle is drawn okay this is our rectangle that is 500 as x and y as 100 and this will act as a whole object whereas in the line you have to just uh, join them all and then they will act as a rectangle okay now there are many other methods to join to make rectangle now firstly how to uh, give the rectangle command so you just type rectangle r e c t a n g and you will go to the rectangle command now there are three things chamfer elevation fillet thickness width we we'll just give the first corner point as this now this uh, there is three options you can rotation pair bana sakte hai, dimension bana sakte hai, i will just give dimension now it will ask me about the length for rectangles i will just type 100 enter now this will ask me about the width i will give 50 enter so this is the rectangle wherever i want to place it i will place it and this is the rectangle of the 100 length and 50 width so this is one more method i will just once again enter rectangle enter chamfer elevation fillet thickness we will talk about it later and this is the enter now i have to just give the first point and then it asks me for the area so i, I will give the area as one lakh fifty thousand and enter uh, calculate rectangle dimension based on width so enter rectangle width i will just give 50 and and this is the rectangle that has a area of one lakh fifty thousand so this is the whole rectangle that is made so it has calculated you have to just give the width or length and it will uh, calculate by itself that how to place the rectangle uh, there so now moving on to the rotation i will just rectangle 
enter uh, we will just check the first point anywhere then rotation now it will say me to pick point for the rotation i will pick this and then it will give me to draw the rectangle as of the area anything then i will choose one of these two matters area or dimension and then i will draw the rectangle so by you can draw the elevating rectangles as well now um, moving on to the rectangle and we'll know about the first then there is a chamfer and so specify first chamfer distance chamfer means the round edges so i will just give it as 10 and uh, specify second chamfer distance 10 same and uh, then specify first corner point this and see uh, the area of this has the round edges so this is called the chamfer we will talk about the chamfer fillet later when we come in modify pen now the other command is the polygon command uh, we will just check them all first this and this now moving on to the polygon command in the polygon command you can draw firstly you can enter the number of sides i want to draw a pentagon hexagon you can draw it till 13 sides so um, you can draw hex uh, hexagon pentagon octagon etc from this uh, so i have to draw a pentagon I will draw five now specify center of the rectangle i will give zero comma zero now inscribed in circle or circumscribed in circle uh, let us give inscribed in circle we will talk about these two uh, uh, sometime after this now i said inscribed in circle and then this uh, wants me to draw specify radius of the circle i draw 100 okay now we will draw one more thing uh, we will draw one more thing one more thing firstly huh. yeah so now i move on to the enter specify number of size by default is 5 and uh, specify center of the polygon let us say and now we will draw the circumcised of the circle and give the radius of the circle as 100 cell. and uh, now what's happening now i will just draw a circle by the center diameter method center and diameter as uh, 100 into 2 200 and uh, now what is this the first circle that is inscribed in the circle inscribed in circle means inside a circle ek circle ke inside hona and circumscribed a circle ek circle ke bahar hona means same radius ka agar circle hoga to jo polygon uske inside hoga use hum kehte hain kahenge inscribed of a circle aur jo uske bahar hoga use hum kehte hain circumscribed of a circle so this is the circumscribed and this is the inscribed inscribed means inside a circle circumscribed means outside a circle and the radius of the circle would be same okay now this we will just this with this and we will erase so you can draw any of this as same then there is a ellipse then there is a ellipse command you can ellipse you can draw the ellipse in three different ways that is center we will the center of the ellipse and then the end point of the axis that is the major axis i will give it 100 and then the uh, uh, it is the minor axis and then this will set you for the major axis 90 enter 90 uh, nine, uh, 90 enter and this is the ellipse now moving on to the other axis and i will just give the axis like this and end point like this okay so this is the end point and then there is the elliptical arc elliptical just give it this and this will draw like this okay so these are the three different types of arcs it is this now uh, moving on to the other thing that is the hatch hatch we will discuss later in the video when we will talk about the sectioning and other things then there are the things like spline fit spline cv construction line ray multiple points divide measure reason wipe out draw helix and we will talk about this uh, later here now 
once again we will uh, recall everything firstly uh, the panel is divided in, uh, the ribbon is divided into panels these are panels the draw panel modify panel annotation layers etc there are the icons of the various commands there like line polyline circle arc polygon rectangle etc now uh, by using these commands you can draw the simple basics uh, line line can be created by uh, typing uh, l just on the command box or l i n e or by clicking the uh, icon there uh, there are three ways of drawing a line polar coordinate and absolute uh, in the polar you give absolute things like 0 comma 0 enter uh, and this is a line uh, in this in the relative method you give at the rate 50 line you give at the rate 50 comma 50 so from the last point I just select the 50 comma 50 this is the line and then in relative and then in polar you just give uh, the direction and the angle uh, 50 lesser than 45 so this is the 50 lesser than 45 point okay so these are the tire uh, these are the things from which you can create the line then there is a polyline uh, the main difference between a line and polyline is polyline act as a complete object whereas the line is the uh, formation of uh, many parts of the object there is everything uh, different in the line a polyline can uh, be exploded to make a line and a line can be joined to make a polyline uh, polyline in the polyline you can create arc with the various methods of creating it uh, in between the lines also uh, then there is circle you have to just type c on the board and there will be a circle you can create the circle by seven uh, by uh, six inches center radius center diameter two point three point tan tan radius and tan 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 uh, there will be no circle drawn when uh, the three lines in which the circle is drawn to be tan are parallel to each other when there is arc they are more than 10 meters to draw the arc three point start center end uh, start center angle start center length start and angle start and direction start and radius center start and center start angle center start length and continue uh, you can access the arc by typing arc uh, then there is a rectangle command for the rectangle command you have to uh, give the uh, top right corner xy coordinates and the bottom uh, left corner xy coordinates or you can just give the uh, area or dimension uh, you can just uh, uh, access the rectangle command by just typing r e c t a n g or rectang on the keyboard in the command box and there will be the rectangle then there is a polygon if you have to draw more than four sides then there is a polygon call you can draw pentagon hexagon uh, octagon etc and there will be the uh, inscription in circle and circumscribed in circle which we have understand it very well uh, the polygon which is drawn as that it can inscribe the circle of the given radius then it is called the inscribed polygon and if a uh, polygon is drawn in such a way that it can it is outside uh, the uh, given radius of the circle then it is called the circumference circumscribed circle then there is the ellipse command there are three ways center and axis you can give the center axis and the measure axis then this is axis and you can give the axis and then the r and then this the elliptical arc the way you can fold this is known as the elliptical arc uh, then there is the hatch we will discuss about the three uh, later in more videos then there are many other options like um, uh, sp uh, spline fit, uh, uh, construction line, J line, major doors divide, measure, and etc. 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 helix, etc. Uh, in this zone, it etc. 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 There uh, in the rectangle, we also discuss about the chamfer, the rounded edges. In the rectangle, we also discuss about the area that how uh, software uh, calculates the rectangle length or the width by uh, just giving the area and one more side. That is, if you give the length, then it will. Uh, 
calculate the width itself and if you give the width then it will calculate the line uh, then it will calculate the length itself then there is a dimension which you can just give the length and breadth uh, in the starting you have to set the limits and the units uh, we are currently working in the centimeter unit uh, you can see it you can change the crosshair size the endpoint picking things and uh, how you can erase the you can just erase by clicking on this just a window uh, this also and there is the erase command this uh, how will you explode this is the explode option in which you can explode the polyline created uh, by exploding it um, and you can uh, make it polyline uh, again by just typing the j uh, o i n or the join command and you have to draw this hut in the practice just screenshot this uh, hut totally and uh, just uh, take a practice over that uh, in this you can use the polar coordinate method absolute coordinate method and relative coordinate method and this to give this snap things uh, the one more thing the snap thing uh, how we snap this point to this point and etc etc things you just recall that uh, how to own or snap you have to just own the or snap from this this is the snapping mode reference line but if you have not opened it in this software then you can up, up, open it from there uh, this is the dynamic input uh, this is the ortho mode you can disable it when you uh, need to move in angle or if you uh, need to move in 180 degree and 90 degrees so you have to just on it so that you can move it clearly this is the grid you can off it or close it uh, these are the code uh, these are the coordinates so this is all about the basic and the draw panel of the things we have not covered the draw panel uh, proper yet because uh, the hatch and other things are uh, missing uh, already but we will discuss about them uh, later in more videos when we will do more complex objects like uh, the one whose sectioning is done and everything till then uh, you can practice these all there is stream also uh, that we will want to use and some other commands uh, so just keep practicing uh, this is the thing you have to draw uh, just mail us your drawings uh, so that we know that you have done this and one more thing we will ask about this uh, dimension we will uh, do the annotation and dimension in the uh, in the third video uh, that is uh, uh, the annotation tab video which will come shortly uh, on uh, the channel and uh, you have to just uh, stay focused on this because AutoCAD is a very 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 interesting thing and for the mechanical engineers for this architecture engineer for the civil engineers uh, for the electrical engineer it is most 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 important and uh, what about that you are taking a new skill uh, and this uh, lockdown period so what would be more excited than this so then uh, till then I uh, just take goodbye from you all hope uh, you all will be very 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 uh, healthy uh, you all will be in very good condition and for all the victims of the coronavirus uh, we have a very uh, condolences uh, to the victims family and the one who have lost their lives and a great salute to those who are serving the nation in this hard times the one who have uh, donated their things in the pm cares fund uh, just stay safe stay healthy stay inside the homes keep the keep your mind running by just making the things in autocad uh, just seeing the videos of autocad tutorials and cg cad works and from a personal experience i have said that uh, autocad is a very vast software um, you can do it one year two year three year of your whole life you can do it as 35 versions are already launched of the autocad so there is something new 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 every time uh, when the uh, new thing is launched so autocad is a very wide thing you have to just widen your minds you have to just polish your creative things so that you can uh, throw the things actually in the autocad and just experience what the autocad is so promise me that 
you will all practice uh, the drawings and you will all see uh, this tutorial whole and then after seeing this tutorial you will all practice the drawings and whenever you will uh, practice this just email us uh, your drawings our email is mcgcreations793 at the rate gmail.com we will see your drawings and we will feature your drawings in the upcoming videos um, give if you can uh, we will show your name we will just give you a shout out of this and thanks we have reached the 100 subscribers so thank you uh, for making this channel great we have just started and a lot of and a lot more has to come so just we need uh, your support your love thanks uh, this is Viraj uh, waving you all have a very pleasant pleasant days and a very healthy and safe future keep your mind studying polish your creative things see the AutoCAD tutorials and draw the objects <laughs>